Hello, Brian the Fanboy here, and today I am going to review Space Sheriff Shader, or as they say in Japan, Uchu Keiji Shader. Now, uh, this is the third Metal Hero series, which aired from originally aired in Japan back in 1984, and it consists of 49 episodes as well as two movies and it's also um, the final series of the Space Sheriff trilogy but not the final series in the Metal Hero franchise because um, more series will come afterwards. Oh wow. Um, this uh, series starts when uh, an evil organization called he has a Fujiki guy Fuma, but I'm gonna say Fuma for short. Well, uh, it attack a planet called Mounto. And well, after the attack, a uh, a young woman named Annie, well, uh, she got out of her desk and said that uh, her planet is now gone or been destroyed. And uh. The teacher turns out to be Mimi. And well, uh, you see, what happened is that uh, in this series, Mimi is now a teacher at the academy, you know, who trains uh, space shivers. Uh, later, uh, Mimi introduces uh, Annie to a man named. Saburai Dai. And, uh, well, Dai is assigned to Earth to, uh, protect it from the evil forces of Uma. And, uh, well, Annie wants uh, to go along and Dai accepts it. Now, as for Fuma, well, um, the leader of Uma is uh, this creature called Dai Deo Kubirai. He is like a, well, uh, he is shown as a giant immobile head attached to a wall. And he usually has uh, three eyes with one of them uh, on the forehead. And uh, it can open up, uh, you know, left to right instead of up and down. Now, um, other members of Uma, well, uh, there is a, a priestess called Po. Then we also have, um, oh yes, uh, this warrior called, um, let's see, oh yes, Hizra. And then we have these, uh, five warrior women. And, well, they are Guruiji, Guruni. Gurusan, Gurujon, and Gurugo. Um, their destination are numbers in Japanese. Oh, and the foot soldiers of of Uma are um. Oh yes, the uh, Sento Murgaru. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention there are these also um. If he has six creatures called the um Jaiji, one of them is um oh yes, Ijada, who is like a a green creature with body ears, kinda looks like Yoda. Then we have a Nozuru that kinda looks like a um, a small elephant. We have uh let's see oh yes um uh, Fuku Peko no Kaki who uh, looks kind of like a, well, has a bit of a dark and a pot belly. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, yes, uh, oh, no shingi. That is like some kind of a plant. And let's see. Um, oh, it is no aida, which is like some kind of a statue with one eye. Let's see. Um, 
Oh, and then we have um, Kahami no Manku, which is a creature that, uh, well, it means upper half monk. And he is like, a, well, he's attached to a wall, and that's it for him. I mean, he doesn't, uh, he can move around, but he, at least uh, his upper body can move, but. Uh, well, anyway, um, yes. Now, on. Uh, Annie, yeah, Annie and I eventually arrived on Earth. And, well, you know, they went around and checked things out. Oh, another surprising thing is that in China, uh, oh, yes, uh, Ojama Kujiro also returns. And, well, uh, in this series, he uh, now works as a pet shop owner. And see, um, Soon, um, Shida, I mean, sorry, I mean, uh, Dai and Annie eventually meet up with, uh, Fuma, and, well, um, Fuma, they use these monsters called Fujikiyu, and, um, oh, yes, um, now, how they're made is, well, you see, um, Kuburai, he makes this um, kind of, uh, well, these pearls appear um, out of his mouth. And, well, um, Po prays to some kind of um, a deity to give this um, pearl life and turn it into a Well, uh, he's, 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 oh yeah, a Fushu, uh, Kiyo, I think it's called. Well, anyway, um, yes, it's, um, and while well, growing in, uh, the creature, uh, is born, well, um, the warrior women, as well as the Miragorus, they do some kind of, um, ceremonial dance. This is only for um, some of the early episodes. I don't know what episode that's not being shown during the process, but anyway, um, yes, and then a uh, Fujikiyu appears. And then uh, as soon as the uh, monster arrives, well, Dai, he starts to henchin, and his henchin process uh, is this. Um, see, uh, Shokits. Well, so, uh, I forgot the movement, but um, yes, um, it means cinder. And he, well, um, oh, I forgot to mention that uh, he and Annie, they, um, well, they fly into this giant ship called the Barbaros. Now, when uh, Dai hinges into well, his zero form, he is endowed by uh, blue energy. It becomes Uchu Keishi Shida, which means Space Sheriff Shader. And uh, his uh, henchin form is like a, a blue and silver armor, along with a blue and silver helmet with a black visor and a gray mouthpiece. Uh, that's all I can remember from, you know. Anyway, he used. And then he starts to uh, fight uh, the Fujikiyu. And then, um, well, one of his weapons is a gun called a uh, Video Bimu Gundu. And uh, he used it to um, fight the enemies. And then, um, eventually, um, Po Shida and the Fujikiyu are sent to this dimension called uh, Fujigen, which means strange space. At least that's what I read in the subtitles. And, um, yes, uh, Poshida and the monster, they, um, fight ins Insider, and then, um, well, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that also, Shida, he has a, um, calls on a motorcycle, uh, I think it's called the Blue Hawk. Yeah, I think, I think that's what it's called, and then, um, 
anyway, the um, the bubble rose is also used, you know, in the um, Fuji again, and uh, let's see. Oh yes, um, it has a mode called uh, shooting formation, which causes the bubble rose to. Uh, Turn into some kind of giant gun, and um, Shida, well, he makes this movement with his hand like this, and um, it's kind of like a uh, some kind of holographic image of him who do the use the same movement to um, use it and like a gun, and um, yeah, and then uh, for the final attack, Shida uses a uh, is the race of Toledo and defeat the first Fujigen of the series. And also in the next episode, it is revealed um, that, um, sh uh, oh yes, the Puppet Rose also has another formation called Padru Formation, which um, causes it to turn into a, like a, a giant robo. So throughout the entire series, it came is used as either in this shooting formation or battle formation. No, many episodes like uh, for a bunch of episodes, you know, uh, they do the same thing. Like you know, well, Shida does the same thing, you know, fight the enemy but with a different monster each episode. And then uh, after those episodes, we um. Learned something uh, about Dai, and it was mostly about you know how he became an Uchikeji or space sheriff. And well, it is revealed that uh, Dai he is from planet Earth, and well, when he was in college studying archaeology, he uh, took a trip to the Nazca. I mean, to Nazca to study the Nazca lines, which is in Peru. And well, for me, that's kind of like uh, an interesting and special because, well, I was also born in Peru. I mean, I wasn't born in Nazca, I was born in Lima, but um, Nazca is still part of uh, Peru, the country. And well, for those who don't know, well, Nazca has these kind of like a. Uh, they're called the Nazca lines and. I don't think you call them crop circles, but, um, well, um, they're made of different animals. I mean, the ones I'm familiar with are the ones that shape like a, a bird, a spider, and a monkey. Yes, and then, um, well, that, he, uh, he found some kind of clues that, uh, caused him to travel all the way to Easter Island. And then uh, when he, um, well, well, walking around and, you know, exploring, he found this kind of um, cave and inside this cave was some kind of older. He uh, opened it up and then the next thing he knew, he was on Planet Bottle, where he met Cometo Ko and Marine. And well, they were impressed, you know, by uh, how he got to Bottle and, um, uh, Offered him to uh, to be trained as a space sheriff, and Dai accepted. And you know, during his time at Bado, he um, trained and then was given the name Shida. Now, um, during that same episode, um, <clears throat> yes, um. Well, Kuberai heard the reports of um, of what happened. Um, well, I forgot what led to. Um, well, anyway, uh, <clears throat> when he first heard about um, Mu, well, Kuberai got upset because well. Um, it was revealed that um, centuries ago, Kuberai was um, 
Well, he once conquered the um, uh, uh, this um, continent that um, is known as Mu. And uh, well, um, it was a uh, because the Kuberai it was ruled under evil, and then came a um. Oh yes, um, a warrior called Senshi Shida, who uh, defeated Kuburai and uh, put an end to all the evil of Wu. However, it uh, resulted in you know the continent going underwater, kind of like Atlantis, and you know when I first. Well, the first time I heard about the Mu civilization, it was from the first episode of Google Fibu. And then I heard that he learned, uh, hear more about it in Shida. Well, anyway, um, oh yes, I remember that episode. Well, it was because, uh, well, uh, I found some kind of um, reports that had to do with the Nazca lines. And, well, when uh, Tai told them, well, come and tell the story about Sihishida and it reveals that um, that Dai was given, you know, the Shida name in honor of Senji Shida. And then later on, um, there was a battle between Shida and Po and eventually uh, well, Shida won, but Bob got away to find another day. Oh, another thing is that um, in the same episode, it was revealed that um. See, oh yes, um, Bo is real. Um, turns out to be Kuberai's granddaughter, and he been keeping Bo alive, you know, or using his own power to keep Bo alive for um. These many centuries. Oh, you know, you know. Oh, sorry, because you know, um, Bo had a, been having nightmares about you know, the Mu civilization. Oh, another thing is that um, it was revealed that um. Well. The symbol for the academy. On Bado. Well, it is the same shape as the. Bernasca line. Because that was probably made up for the series, but the thing, because you know, there is no such thing he, uh, in real life, but anyway, um, yes, let's see, um, yes, but eventually, um, the series went back to a, um, to Shai, uh, to Diane and he still fighting against Fuma, and then, uh, oh, yes, and eventually, um, Kujiro, he went back to um, photographing UFOs and soon he learned that um, Tai has some connection, you know, with um, well, um, with the research of Nazca and offered Tai to, you know, to stay in this home above the, uh, well, anyway, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that um, I said that Petra, well, um, Kujira has an assistant named Joko. Uh, she's a uh, teenage girl who uh, lives with her father and jungle brother. Well, anyway, um, let's see. Let me remember what else there is. Um, oh, yes. Then we have, like, uh, the first Shida movie. Where, um, let's see. Uh, oh, yes. Um, this, uh, Intergalactic Carmen, uh, he was um, fighting. Oh, yes. Um, well, he's been fighting both Daban and Shariban, and uh, Shida was next. And Shida defeated him in the movie. And yeah, that's all I can say. At least that's all I can remember. I mean, there's more stuff. But anyway, um, many episodes. I don't want to really talk about. Um, well, one is revealed that uh, 
Well, Poe, he, uh, she uses um, young girls to, um, well, to stay young, you know, for another 500 years. And um, because, you know, because she doesn't do that every 500 years, then she doesn't do some kind of month where her uh, image is that um, of a monster, you know, like some kind of creature with fangs and stuff. Now, um, let's see. The other thing, what does what body stuff happens? Um, oh, yes, um, there's a, another uh, episode reveals that uh, Hizra has a younger brother named Himru, and well, all the girls were impressed with him, and well, um, his rest was um, afraid that um, Himuru might replace him. And well, he said Himuru, after, well, uh, Himuru was enough to fight Shida. And uh, well, well um, the thing, uh, yeah, Himuru retreated. And, and then with a the fight between Hisra and Himuru, and well, Hisra killed. Himuru and hmm. Hmm. So, um, okay, some episodes later, well, um, we meet a um, a young woman named Bibian. She is a uh, I forgot, I don't know if she was trying to find a bottle or some other, but um, she is an investigative reporter, and well, um. By mistake, she ended up at the uh, Fuma Palace. I forgot to mention that the Fuma Palace is a, uh, is shaped like a my, takes the appearance of a Mayan pyramid. Yeah, so anyway, at the palace, well, um, as soon as she arrived there, um, she was put, well, um, a spell was put on her. So, uh, to lure out Shada to. The Lurus, uh, yeah, uh, died to his tomb, but eventually, um, the spell was broken, and, well, BBN, she, um, came back to her senses. If she had any, you know, if you've seen the episode. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention it. Also, um, it's an episode where Ojama, I mean, Kujiro finally meets, um, uh, Ani, and, as soon as um, he met her, he ended up having a crush on her. And I don't blame him because I myself ended up having a crush on Annie because of how beautiful she is. But anyway, um, yes. And then, oh yeah, then we have another movie. Uh, thing about Kid of Children, but, uh, well, moving forward. Well, um, some episodes before the final one, well, um, we meet, uh, oh yes, um, well, Guru Ichi, well, uh, oh yes, not even remember, what happened was that, um, Kuburai's birthday has approached, and he done a thing, uh, I don't know if it was 1,000, 1 million, or something like that, but, um, yes, um, and, well, Guru Ichi, she said that for her birthday, she, I mean, as a gift, for Kuba, right, she wants to kill Shida herself, and Kuba, right, I allowed her to go through the process so she can, you know, get the uh, niece. And uh, yeah, she fought in her, you know, her new upgrades. However, um, Shida eventually uh, defeated her and she was destroyed. Oh, I forgot there was an episode where um, Hisra also fight uh, Shida himself, but uh, he was also destroyed. And then let's see, um, Gurusan wanted to um, kill Shida herself, but also she also got killed. Uh, also got killed while fighting, you know. But anyway, um, oh, and also um. On Kuburai's birthday, he celebrated by attacking other planets he's being invaded, you know, at once. 
and many of the you know um, academy students they um died you know while defending those planets. And see um. Oh yes, and um. Also um. Getting close to the final episode. Let's see. Tai was um was assigned to figure out the riddle of the altar, which uh supposed to uh, help him find the secrets to um uh, how to defeat Kuberai. And then um eventually uh, the riddle was solved and he found this place. However, what he didn't know is that um he was followed by both well, the remaining uh warrior girls. And well, both trapped inside the cave. However, um, then see him. Um, on the night number, um, around the same time, well, um, and he was captured and um, sent to the Fuma Palace as prisoner. And um, well, Cooper arrived, threatened to. Kill uh, Annie if Shida didn't uh, surrender. But and then, uh, oh yeah, he trapped uh, Shida. She trapped Shida inside the uh, uh, this double thing. And uh, however, and then when uh, he got out, especially after hearing Annie's voice, because uh, probably. Um, Cooper I forgot that um Annie has um a telepathic link. And so um Shida he used the Bruja to escape and finally arrived at the uh, Fuma Palace and Oh no, before that happened um well First, um, Cooper, I, well, um, was sent to the, Shida was sent to the Fuji camp, then, um, uh, after, you see, what happened was that, um, well, it was revealed that, uh, Cooper, I had a, uh, a missing body, and, because, you see, when Sinchi Shida fought Cooper, I, he got a head off, of course, he didn't kill Cooper, I, he has, um, the head and body were, you know, still alive, but they were separate. And then eventually, um, Cooper, I was finally united with his body, and um, he shied up, fought Cooper, I, you know, body and head and body. And then shied up, he used um, his razor blade on Cooper, I's third eye, and it was killed. And then, um, Shida arrived at, um, Fumo Palace to rescue Annie, and he did, and well, Bo, as well as with the, uh, remaining creatures, the, uh, Yajin, whatever they're called, well, um, because Kubarai is no longer around, um, Bo can no longer um, is able, you know, to do the process for her to uh, stay young again. And she, along with the other creatures, faded out and that was the end of Uma. And let's see, um, afterwards, well, um, despite Annie's own world has been gone, well, die offered any, you know, that they could uh, travel the world together, and she accepted. And that was the end of the uh, adventures of Uchikichi Shida. However, not the final episode, because there was one special episode that um, came out the work, and it was called um, All Three Space Chairs Together. And what happened was that, um, let me see. Oh yes, um, Kiaba Ikiden, also known as uh, 
Fujikishi Sherry Van, as well as uh, Suwara Dai, you know, uh, Uchikishi Shida, well, they all came together to meet. Of course, it was mostly a clip show of, of all the three Uchikishi series. And, um, let's see. Yes, and then, um, after, you know, other recaps, well, um, well, um, what's going on, you know, with, uh, three space shivers is that, um, well, um, well, let's see. Oh, yes, um, it's revealed that, uh, Kevin and Mimi are getting married. Riri, who was, uh, the psychic of Shariban, she um, is now a teacher at the Academy on Bado, and Annie is um, in Egypt studying archaeology. And uh, a voice told all three space shares, you know, to a shorter hedge form. And they did. And then uh, shortly afterwards, they were at this train station, I think it was, and uh, they saw this um, guy who looked kind of like um, a villain, one of the main villains from Shariban. I forgot his name, but, um, well, one of them uh, pulled out, uh, well, um, pulled his message and the guy got upset and they apologized saying that they thought he was somebody else and, well, they ran off and that was the end. Now, uh, what do you think of the Shida series? Well, um, there were some good actions, but the ghost, um, the villains were very weird. I mean, yes, I mean, the other space, well, like you series before, it had weird villains, but, um, the ones in Shida, they were more weird. And, well, I think the only thing I, I think this show has going for is Annie. Yeah, because, you know, like I said before, I did have a crush on Annie because how beautiful she is. She even has her own song, theme song. Uh, anyway, um, and, uh, oh yes, another interesting thing uh, uh, about uh, this series is that um, Shida, well, the footage from it was used for the second season of Field Troopers. Yes, where um, Brian Steele, he's the one who uses the Shida suit. Now let's see. Um, and uh, oh yes. And uh, for the clip show, well, well, even though was you know one of the main uh, special series. Well, um, it will the will come well um. I guess it will be reputed again, not the series, but as movies. And Kiaban, well, um, he returned in, um, in a Kogaija special. And yeah, I did see that years ago, you know. Uh, and there will also be a um, Kiaban Next Generation, Shariban Next Generation, and Shida Next Generation. There was also a, um, a video game based on the Uchikishi series with um, the others who play Kyaban and I guess Shariban replacing, replacing the roles, you know, as voice. However, uh, the actor who played Shida could not because, well, he died in uh, of liver cancer back in 2001, so somebody else has to um, by the voice and also um well because of that he couldn't appear in the next generation movie of Shida. Yes and uh, yeah it's sad. But anyway um oh and as for whether uh, children um could watch it or not, I don't recommend it because well for one of the characters I won't say which one or why that character is the reason why children shouldn't watch it, but, you know, with everything that's being pushed around children these days, yes, I don't recommend that they shouldn't watch it. And, yes, uh, 
I think I'll we'll say about um, the Shida series in this uh, video. There are probably some stuff I left out, but um, I did the best I could to remember uh, most of the important stuff. Uh, especially since it's been a while since I've seen the series, so um, yeah. So. And also, please subscribe to my channel because it will help me a lot. And also, please share this video on social media like Facebook, Twitter, or whatever. So that's it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.